there seems to be a slight update when okay I'll, I'll also link this article in the uh, description if you want to look at it so there's this L L LCD screen and it turns out that it was only two group members that was performing while the rest were backup dancers so the people who were hit were backup dancers and one of the members and so uh, or it was just the backup dancers so it turns out uh, there's much a bunch of performers performing and then the huge screen that was suspended from the ceiling suddenly started swaying and then became loose and fell and like in the previous video about this uh, I pretty much talked about how uh, if you looked at the L LCD screen it looked like it was kind of there was a frayed cord and so uh, the dancers have survived with injuries and they went to Queen Elizabeth Hospital um, one dancer was in critical condition and it was possibly suffering from spinal cord damage and uh, hmm. Uh, so th it caused uh, the incident caused injuries to Lee's head and lungs, and then the other dancer that was also taken there was uh, was healthy, uh, well stable, and uh, I guess Lee was the dancer that got hit head on with the LCD screen, and uh, there are, there has been uh, like rumors or uh, like people were talking about it. They were saying how the i i think that lee if he's the one that got hit straight on or whoever's hit straight on is facing some uh what well, was kind of paralyzed and so it, that's not good and so none of the 12 mirror members were hurt and so there's going to be a further investigation to be conducted uh, there's a, a petition that was signed with 13,000 signatures from uh, Mir's fans, which urged concert organizers to address the issues and guaranteed everyone's safety. Um, so, let's see. Um, so, from what is said, uh, this concert will be postponed until further notice. And, uh, let's see, anything else? Nope. So, it seems that uh, both uh, members that, oh, dancers that were hurt have, are, have survived. They're just, one's critical, critically injured and then another one's in stable condition. So, that is good. And it's a, another thing that's good is that the government is in, uh, doing it uh, going to be doing an investigation and it's great to see that uh, this this concert has um, let's say opened a helpline for those traumatized uh, by uh, uh, by watching this uh, incident uh, they're taking good responsibility and uh, making sure that everyone is well taken care of and I think this is this is going to be a great lesson to people in the future or, uh, I guess uh, organizers and those who work at the co concert hall or stadium uh, they need to make sure to have constant checks on the uh, I guess their equipment especially those that are dangling up high in the sky because that would be it's not safe to have something that's dangling up in the si sky that isn't constantly like checked because you never know when there's an accident so this could have been like uh, the mistake of a worker of not correct uh, like checking thoroughly and then turns out there's uh, there might have been a rip in the cord or the cord was weak from I guess wear and tear okay so I will continue to update on this situation because <laughs> it is kind of surprising because you don't expect uh, something like this to happen at a concert, especially an Asian concert like K-pop, C-pop, and like Canto pop, J-pop, etc. Like we've seen, we've heard of 
like incidents that are happened in the U.S. like in uh, pop music, yeah, like where I guess rappers were didn't know that things were happening, and a bunch of concert goers or people who were there got injured, and like like being kind of I guess being kind of careful with everything might be the best uh, choice in this situation. Uh, I hope the person who is currently in critical condition gets uh, through quickly with a speedy recovery. Um, and this is pretty much my short update of on this mirror uh, concert incident. Uh, thank you for watching so much so far. <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.